Our next caller is Marie from Texas. Hey, Marie, how can we help you? Hi. Um, so I am currently running the PED program, and I'm on the last phase. I'm in the second week, and I'm just wondering where I should go from there to reach my goals, my overall goal. Well, I have, so I have two goals concerning my nutrition and fitness. My first goal, this is kind of weird, but I want to get to where I'm eating 3,000 calories a day. I know that's weird, but first of all, I love food. Second of all, I know it'll also cause me to build muscle because I'll need the muscle to eat that. Um, but I do, and then, of course, my second goal is to be, just like get back into my, um, I used to be super fit, and not that I'm not anymore, but I want to get back to the strength-oriented fitness that I used to love. Um, I do have a history of overtraining, so that's why I did PED because even that was a step down from what I was doing. Wow! So I was just wow. Really, really <laughs> bad. That's our <laughs> pinnacle of the program. I, I I have a feeling you're gonna know how we're gonna answer this. You're just not gonna like how we're gonna answer this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, is there more? I mean, yeah. If. It, yeah, it, I'm still kind of trying to work it down a little. Even when I did PED, I was doing way too much. I just, wow. in the past two months, got to where I was doing the three days on, one day off, which I still don't really do a day off. So okay. I'm well, still I, trying. I, I, want, I want to say something right now, since this is a perfect opportunity to talk about this. When we wrote PED, part of the hesitancy of us writing it was that it would attract someone just like you. Mm -hmm. Was yep. that we we knew mm -hmm. that the and, and that was why it was one of the last programs we wrote. We knew that there's there there are examples of people that can utilize that program that could scale to that volume and that it, it makes sense to uh, do that. But then we also know that there's a large percentage of the population that overtrain and they're going to be drawn to something like this when we know better and they we know that they should they should be doing something different. And so the program that comes to mind right away for me, knowing that about you, is I would push you in the MAPS anabolic yeah, direction. Totally. Yep. And, and uh, you know, so for, for people who are listening right now, MAPS PED is a double split, high volume, high frequency routine, meaning you work out twice a day and you're hitting each body part uh, several times a week. So it's, it's a very advanced bodybuilder style program um, that for some people can be extremely effective. Uh, but it could also lead to overtraining more so than any of our other programs, okay? Now, because you tend to overtrain, that's an issue, admittedly, and the fact that you said that PED, with, and I know how much volume is in that program because I wrote it with the guys, the fact that that was a step down from what, what you were already <laughs> doing, that, that's already a lot. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do, okay? How long have you been listening to the show, Marie? Um, Only since... December. Okay. I discovered it in December, and then that's when I purchased the program. Okay. Get, now, on a scale of one to ten, be honest. How, how much do you like the show, and how much do you trust us? <laughs> um, on a scale of one to ten, I like the show at like a probably a ten. Ooh. Trust. Okay. Now, listen. My dad said, <laughs> "Don't Who's trust anybody but family, and even then, be skeptical." But <laughs> I do like Smart that style specifically. Like you go in and you do the studies because I'm an anthropology major right now so i love studies okay. um so i trust that for sure uh, okay all right well you you tr do you trust this as far as fitness information is concerned i mean yeah. I, 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 okay all right so you're not gonna let me watch your kids but you trust me with, <laughs> <laughs> with fitness information smart okay so here's what i want you to do okay um and i'm glad you gave me a little bit of background you're you're a logical uh individual sounds like you're intelligent i can tell by the way you're talking and obviously your your uh your education points to the fact that you can be you can be quite objective. Now here's the challenge: uh, intelligent, objective people uh, tend to be the easiest uh, fooled by themselves, right? Because you're smart, because you're objective, you probably can convince yourself of almost anything. In other words, you may have a feeling or an issue, and then you'll convince yourself of the truth of that issue using your objective reasoning, uh, your ability to reason, and you'll do this with yourself. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do: I want you to step outside of yourself. For a second, I want you to trust the science and also trust the experts, okay? I'm sure it probably annoys the hell out of you when some keyboard warrior uh, argues anthropology with you because you've studied it and this is what you're going to school for and you probably think to yourself, why can't they just trust mm. the experts? Okay, we're the fitness experts. We've been doing this for a very, very long time 
I've trained and worked with a lot of people just like you. Okay, I've trained a lot of people just like you. And then here's the 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 most important part. I am very much like you. Actually, many many ways. Just from talking to you, I can uh, very much identify with what you're going through. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I want you to blindly trust the workout programming. I want you to do Maps Anabolic and do three foundational workouts a week. So in the program, we give you the option of doing two to three. I think you could probably handle three. And then on your off days, do three trigger sessions a day. Now, the trigger sessions need to be at a a low to moderate intensity. And I want you to trust the program. And here's what's going to help you. I want you to start listing the weight that you're working out with and look at the trends of strength. If your strength is trending in a positive direction, then there's your evidence right there. And, and that evidence right there, being somebody as logical and as objective as you can be, is should overpower your feelings of, oh my God, I need to do more, right? So, oh, I need to do more, but wait a minute. The data is saying that I'm getting stronger, so I'm moving in the right direction. So I want you to trust it and go for it. It's a three-month program. Do you think you could do this? Do you think you could suspend your tendencies for three months and just go just based off the science and the data? Um, yes. Um, I think that's like, so this is just a quick background. I was in an inpatient hospital, eating disorder, depression, all that crap. Um, and when I got out, I think I would actually like, if I look in the mirror, whatever, I gained weight, whatever, little depressing, but not too big. But the biggest thing was when I went in the gym and I couldn't do a push up. I cried. Like I literally cried in the gym. There was nobody else there. So it's fine. But Mm. um, yeah, so I think that I could do that. My only other issue is because I was so intense with cardio as well. Like I built up to like an hour and I was running 10 miles a day and I don't do that anymore. But I still do like an hour a day and I'm trying to take that down. Um, So I don't know how I would do that. I don't, cause I've heard some people say you can just quit the cardio. I've heard some people say tamper off of it while you're reverse dieting. Just switch to walking. Yeah. The, switch to walking. Yeah. Don't, don't get rid of it completely. Just switch to walking. That's it. Now do you I also walk too. Okay. So like I do cardio and walking. Okay. So, so, yeah. so here's, I mean, this, this is might be a more complicated conversation, but, um, it, it feels like you're using alcohol, excuse me, exercise, like someone may use alcohol or other substances. And what I mean by that, and I know I've been there, okay? It's a exercise feels good. It's distracting. It also gives you a very strong sense of control because you're doing something, right? This is something I can control. I can do this uh, when maybe you feel out of control in other areas. So I, I know what it would mean to take it away completely without replacing it with something else. That would put you probably in a pretty scary situation. So do this, okay? Go ahead and continue to walk. Instead of your hour-long cardio, let's take that laser-like focus and that obsession and let's move it to um, yin yoga. Let's move it to something like that. Yeah, move it to yin yoga, something that's... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking walk. Yeah. Actually, yeah. don't overcomplicate I, this. I don't, don't do anything. I can't sit for more than yeah. that, no, so, but that, okay. That's okay. But should I completely stop? No, the, no, 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 no. Don't, don't change. You don't, I, I'm not even going to change your schedule. I'm, I'm just walk instead, instead of getting on like a Stairmaster or going hard okay. for that, that hour, just walk. It's okay. Walking is totally okay. fine. Fa- totally fine. And even though you walk already intentionally, the cardio session, the high intensity stuff, that's what I want you to stop. That just needs to be walking. So that's walking now or mobility or yoga. I, we don't we don't need to cut out that out of your routine. There's nothing wrong with you just moving, but it's the high intensity thing that is going to be counterproductive to trying to build your metabolism like you said you want to do. Yeah. So we're not going to make you stop that, stop moving or stop going to the gym or wherever you were doing your cardio. Just switch it from high intensity to just be more therapeutic, be walking or doing something that's working inward. Yeah. Marie, Marie, how, um, how feasible is it for you to hire a, a coach or a trainer? either online or in person. Is this something that's feasible for you or is that is that out of the Yes, the so right actually before COVID hit, I was I actually want to start getting into powerlifting. Like that's my goal. My goal is to just be a badass in the gym again. Like I love when I go in there and people underestimate me and I pick up 50 pound weights and they're like, "What are you doing? You're a little yeah. girl." 
So I was going to start meeting with a coach and then COVID hit and everything shut down. Okay. Um, I'm starting to look again. It's hard in this area. I don't know. Like there's a lot of coaches I'm skeptical about because I just don't, I'll ask them certain questions and it doesn't really click. And I'm like, mm. okay, like, Mar- if they want me to eat 1600 calories a day, I'm like, no. Mm-mm. All right, no. Marie, let's do this then. Um, when, when we, when we get off here, I want you to DM me, remind me who you are. And I'm going to talk to Jason Phillips and I'm going to get a recommendation for a good online coach. He's the owner of NCI certifications. He has a lot of really good coaches working for him. And I'm going to find, I'm going to tell him kind of what we talked about and then he'll recommend a good coach for you because I think that's going to be essential for you. I think it's going to be essential that you work with someone she's, on a daily basis. She's also in the she's in the LCK area. She's in Laura Laura Christie King. Okay, well like, DM me and I'm yeah. going to see if I can find uh, I, somebody. I think, for I think Laura would be great for the nutrition yeah. part. And then, but anabolic right now, and then uh, then I would follow it up with power lift. Yeah, That'd yeah. be a great program to run right after you do anabolic. I yeah, love, well, I love that. Do you have Maps Anabolic? Um, no. All right, we'll send. I just it. have. The- right now. We'll send it right over to you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Marie. Thanks for calling in. Don't forget to DM me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh yeah. I about died when she said that PED <laughs> was a was a step down for what Bro, she's doing. Ten, and then when you guys were trying to give her stuff to do, she's like, "I already do that. I already yeah, do that." I know. <laughs> oh man, it's like such a busy body that we're we're dealing with here. And I'm just like, I mean, that was the first thing that came to mind. Is like sometimes you just you you kind of have to like play the game of like if you're going to be so busy and, and and doing things, like why don't you do things that are recuperative? I, I'm so glad though that we got this question because I don't feel like we've had the ability to address what we used to talk about off air before we created PED. Yep. This was a major concern of ours. Yeah, we were worried about that. When we wrote and why we waited till the last program to write this was yeah. because we knew that we'd had lots of clients just like this and knew that they would be attracted to that type of a program, knowing damn well that that's not the program they should be running. And sure as shit, here's a perfect example of the client that is that is drawn to that program, but we know that should be in something completely yeah, different. And I mean, the yeah. truth is this, and this is the honest God truth: <clears throat> a person like this is, is harder to work with than a person oh, yeah. who doesn't work out at all. Oh hell yeah! Oh, this yeah. is a very challenging situation. This is, and I, again, I can identify with this. The exercise is used like a drug, and so you're dealing with uh, other issues. So it's not, exercise isn't the problem; it's just the the method. Yeah, it's an outlet. Yeah, there, there, there's a root issue here, and so we could give her all the advice in the world, but I don't think it's going to work unless she works with someone mm-hmm. on a regular basis. It's a very tough thing uh, to work through and break through, especially in the scale down, because once you start to scale down. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? And right. then, oh my God, I'm losing muscle. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gaining body fat. Oh my God. I, I, oh, my, it's just I, paranoia, as you said. Yeah, I'm sitting with myself and my thoughts, and now I feel this way and whatever. It's a very challenging situation to get out of. And so I think working with someone, this I mean, that, that's what she would benefit from. She has to want to do it, though, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm.